these carrots are fairly coming on too definitely need to be thinned out a bit they're quite clumpy but i think they don't like to be moved i'm sure you don't or you know meant to shift carrots i don't think any plant likes to be moved but carrots more so um so i don't know whether we just leave it as a survival of the fittest job or if we try and thin them out we may need to quiz law on that one this all needs to be tidied up too but we've been uh, making wood chip in a big way and uh, the wood chip machine broke so we've got this great big bag of wood chip and two bottles full of twigs to break up when i had to break them up with i mean blueberry bush that absolutely needs to be looked into today i don't know why the leaves are going that color i suspect it maybe needs a bigger pot but we'll cross that bridge later i think that'll be a job for this afternoon so this morning we are making yeast traps for the slugs mm -hmm. so we need two teaspoons of sugar Them in the bowl. And two teaspoons of sugar in here. Not in your mouth, but abs. <laughs> you need no more sugar today. Wait. Two of flour. Kirsten, I'll ha be having plenty of sugar at the party anyway. You absolutely will. And then was it one of yeast do we need? To I want to um, like some. I think it was one teaspoon of yeast. Yeah, you can mix in a minute. And then I think we need a pint of of tepid water. Can I see the yeast or whatever it is? Perfect. Pop that in. Yep. Pour it all in. Perfect. Now can I mix it? Yep, we'll need to get a spoon though. Oh, I'll get them. Not a good start. Can I go as quick as I want? No, because I go all over the edges. No, but like quicker than like too quick. No, <laughs> not as quick as too quick. Push it down as deep as it'll go. And then I would say maybe half fill it with this. That'll do, right? Pop this in. I'm just going to... That'll do. Perfect. And we wonder why uh, the tadpoles are dying. Hello, do you mind? Hello. So I just came out for a slug hunt. Can you hear that? That's hailstones. Not <laughs> not hundred percent sure how I'm gonna get back in. In me pajamas. <laughs> I mean, dressing good. Oh man. I thought I'd show you the lovely view at Growbest, but um, Maisie had other thoughts in mind and she dropped her guts. I need to be puffy about it. Time has come. You've not harvested anything yet, have you? Hey, I have always eaten when the radish was out. But you haven't actually done oh, it. I've not physically done it. Right? No. Do you think you've got the strength? I've been practicing my enormous turnip technique. Because there is a big boy down here, isn't there? I've been pulling tractor tires around the garden in preparation. I haven't seen you do this. It's because you're in bed. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on then, smart ass. Right. Oh. I feel that earth move on me. Oh, don't take all the soil. Yeah, move moved for me anyway. <laughs> now I'm going to take this one because this part one is... Look at that. The fruits of our labour. We did this, Trish. We did. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it turns out some of the tadpoles are actually alive. I thought most of them were dead, but there's certainly some swimmers there. So I'm just going to boil some lettuce and cucumber. Apparently if you boil it, it softens it. And I think it's, well, by what I read online, it's something that they enjoy to eat. I'm aware the pond's quite new so I just feel like I don't want to I don't think there'll be a lot of vegetation or stuff to eat in the pond so we're gonna try them with a pea salad so run down on the little greenhouse little oxide daisies there's a few of them coming I think that green bit there is actually grass what's this gay feathers yes 
gay feathers are germinating. Nasturtiums. Why are they a different colour? I think maybe it is a different colour nasturtium. They're all nasturtiums. They're doing great. There's nothing there from the tomatoes yet. Oh, nothing from this nasturtiums. What's this? Dwarf sunflower. No action there. I think they're dead. We're not going to worry about that. Uh, can you see cauliflower? These really need to get potted outside. I'm not sure whether to harden those off or just put them straight out. Um, I'll decide on that later. Broccoli needs thinning out. Basket of fire chilli. We only have one at the back there. They've been a bit slow. Sweet peppers, nothing. No cucumbers yet. The <laughs> amount of salad we have here and lettuce and mizuna is utter madness. So that's going to need to be thinned out massively. Spinach is doing great. Sprouts, happy with them. Peppers and courgettes, as he yet nothing. Uh, what's this? Oh, asparagus, looking okay. Purple kale, great. Neeps, happy with them. Onions, they're looking great. That's definitely not an onion. You should not be there, mate. Up here, nothing from any of the tomatoes other than here. We've got one Rubylicious tomato. What are these? Oh, it's back to front, isn't it? Dwarf teddy bears. They're okay. Nothing for this. What's this? Pom pom poppies. That's disappointing. Time yet? Uh, what's this? Evening sunflowers. They're great. Uh, rhubarb over here. Happy with that. Fruit bushes. They're all looking swell. This rhubarb. Oh. Yeah? I think that's all doing fine. I mean, we're growing some lovely grass in here. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it matters what you do. These bloody weeds and grass. When you filled these raised beds a few weeks ago, I think because the weather is absolutely diabolical today, I'm just going to get this whole row here we did. I've got some radishes I am considering direct sowing over there with the radishes that's already there. Um should really tidy up as well, but this, I don't know that I can be bothered today, actually. Anyway, I'm going to get this weeding done. I've got the weeding done. Um, I've decided I'm going to direct sow some radishes into here. And I think I'm just going to put some in these little seed trays as well. I just, I'm not all that confident with direct sowing. I feel like at least if they're in little trays, they're movable. You know, like if they're getting too hot too cold we can move them whereas here they kind of have to rough it don't they oh that rain's pushed now the packet said to sew it 1.5 centimeters deep but i'm just doing the usual wing in it i don't know that there's just a a lot of merit in the uh, weeding packets. Well, it's worked for us so far, to be fair. Right, I think I'll just. Oh, my knees, the stones are as sharp as the meat. My. Oh, could it in a bit, eh? Yeah. My general approach is you just poke a little hole with a sharp way and drop one in. I feel like they can be fairly close together. One of our uh, first purchases at Grovis was this peony stand. Uh, it is a bit bent because it fell on the floor on our unboxing video. I'm sure we could straighten out. Anyway, it's not the point. The point is, my sister loves peonies. I was going to grow her some peonies, which I've done, but the stand doesn't fit the pot. It's the bottom line of it. So, I've got a few canes here, and I, I think if I just put strings around it, it'll, it'll work. I'm hoping. I'm just a bit nervous because that I don't want to stab them either. But I feel like I need one behind the peonies that's here. And then do we tie the top first? I didn't really think this through, did I? <laughs> uh, 
Right. Let's try and bind that at the top first. That looks not bad. Huh. Chuff for that. But I feel like it's, that's going to support him, isn't it? Crumbs. Uh, update on the tromboncino plants. If anyone doesn't know what a tromboncino is, which I didn't until very short ago, we will insert a picture now. Um, these two are doing great. There's nothing from the rest of them. Although actually, that's a mizuna. That's not even a tromboncino. That's no doing much either. And the strawberries are a hundred percent boost. I am leaving them on the heat mat with the hope, but I think I fried them, you know. Uh, excuse the hat, but the hair is an absolute state because I've just come in from gardening in the wind and the rain. Uh, I just thought I'd quickly show you. I had a birthday this week. I don't really love birthdays, but it was acknowledged nonetheless. Um, how beautiful is this watering can? Got quite a few gardening related gifts. This is up there with one of my favourites. What else did I get? These, oh, I'll quickly show you. Mushroom lights. All right, little mushrooms or toads, those are going to go around the pond. I've got three boxes of those, so that'll be uh, lit up like a firework in no time. Laura gave me this. Gardener's box of tricks. Uh, I'm yet to open the box of tricks, but well, what else? This cute little garden ornament. We have Peter already, so I'm sure you'll be very delighted that this one's arrived too. Uh, <laughs> gardening shit cutlery. I don't, I thought when Laura gave me this, so apparently if you use a fork to take little germinated seedlings out, it doesn't damage the roots so much as if you just pull them out with your hands. So I was like, oh, she's giving me, you know, because they're shaped like shovels. Uh, she's giving me stuff for shifting little seedlings. No, no, no. Apparently this is actual cutlery. I don't know how I'm going to eat the cornflakes with a spade shape, but... I'm crossed up ready to come to it. Boozy Gardener's kit. Uh, ooh, strawberry Alexandra seeds. Barnet seeds. Orange scented thyme. Korean mint. Lemon. Bergamot and cinnamon basil never had cinnamon basil that might be fun i could actually do that this afternoon maybe um and i think probably the most exciting of the lot Ta -da! laura gave me a hunting camera waterproof outside in the hope that we can get some hedgehog action currently we don't have any occupants in the hedgehog house other than the odd cat or rat that pinches the food but I'm hoping in spring we might get one and if not even the frogs if we can get a few frogs we could maybe uh, get a bit of footage for them anyway that is us for this week Laura has been a bit absent this week because she's been working hard and she is getting ready to go on holiday this week um so I probably will just be me the next couple of weeks but if you can pop with that then good for you uh thank you if you've made it to the end continue to oh that's my dog sorry that's not anything else um continue to like and subscribe thank you for all the support as always and uh yeah we'll see you this time next week